Now that you have explored your topic and found research that you plan to use in your ENC 1101 paper, I'm going to show you how you can use the databases to obtain an MLA formatted citation. All research requires that we use citations both in the text of your paper to indicate where you have used information from the research you found, as well as at the end of your paper in the works cited list. The librarians at IRSC can help you to do this, and we have instructions on the library website for all citation styles used at the college. Please open a new window and keep this video up in a separate window. This way, you can follow along as I give you instructions. Control N will open a new window. Then if you click Restore Down on each window, you can place them side by side. Pause the video and set up your computer so you can view this video and navigate to the databases in another window. Start off at the library homepage by clicking Quick Links on the IRSC homepage and then Libraries. On the library website, you will see all the available citation guides at the top of the page. Next, click on MLA. Here is the LibGuide devoted to MLA style. What you want to do is download the annotated bibliography, which can be found under the tab MLA Annotated Bibliography. Click on the tab and then click on MLA 8th Edition Annotated Bibliography Template. Open the Word document and then select Enable Editing. This is a sample annotated bibliography that has already been formatted for you. You can save the template to your computer under a new name for your course assignment using Save As. Then, simply type over the parts using your own information, such as your name, your course number, the date, and the title of the paper. When it comes to the annotated bibliography, you will be happy that you use database articles for your research because they come with an MLA style citation that you can copy and paste into your annotated bibliography to create a near perfect citation. In order to follow along in this process, you should open the library databases and navigate to the opposing viewpoints database again. From there, we will email research to ourselves to get an MLA citation to paste into our annotated bibliography. Pause the video now and go to opposing viewpoints in the database list once again. Find your topic and for the purposes of this tutorial, open any research article within your topic. Once you are in a research article in opposing viewpoints, you will see an option at the top of the article to send to, or there is an email button. Either one of these will work. Often when conducting research, it is difficult to replicate the same search later. So we recommend you email yourself the article so you have it saved for later. If you email the article to yourself, you will not have to find it through a database search again. You will also have an MLA style citation sent to you in the email. Let me show you how it works. Here's my article in opposing viewpoints. Here is the send to and the email buttons. Click on one of them and then type in any email address that you want to use to collect your research. Then click on send and close the window. Now navigate to your email to retrieve the article and the MLA citation. Here is the article I sent in my email. When I open it, I can scroll through and see that the entire article is in the email. Then at the bottom is an MLA citation. Highlight the entire citation, leaving off the access date, and then press Control C or select Copy. Now go to your MLA formatted annotated bibliography template that you opened earlier. Highlight one of the sample citations and right click to see the paste dialog box. 
Notice that there are several options for pasting the content you copied. This paper is formatted for you, so we need to select the Merge Formatting Paste Selection rather than any other options. The Merge Formatting option will keep the reference intact, bringing any italics over, but changing the font to match the rest of the paper in Times New Roman and 12 points. To use the research from the article in the text of your paper, you need to read the entire article and complete the annotation according to the instructions in your course assignment. If you need help with your research, your annotated bibliography, or citation styles, please ask a librarian.